You know, I, th I thought for three quarters, I thought we played really, really well. Um, thought um, we played against, obviously, a team that won us defending national champions, um, a team that's got the best player in college basketball on their team, a team that's got probably one of the top 12 players in the world on their team. Um, you know, and I would, I would, I would say that I've watched, I watch a lot of basketball, and and um, Asia Wilson will be on the Olympic team um, in 2020, obviously, and she's one of the best players in the world. And I thought for three quarters we did a good job, gave ourselves got it at nine there, and they made three straight threes to start the fourth quarter, and it just deflated us. Um, but we got to get some more players to continue to step up. At times we're playing three on five on offense, and um, you know um, it, that's where Drake's absent, Sandrika's absent really hurts us. And um, and we got to continue to have some kids step up and continue to get better. And I see some things. I thought China Nixon obviously didn't score tonight, but she didn't play scared. And um, that's something from a freshman you're looking at in those type of games is how will she respond? Promise Taylor came in in the second half, didn't play scared, played hard, and got back to playing the way we, we think she, she needs to play, the way she played early in the year. Um, you know, so I, th I just thought uh, Medina and Alyssa continued to be real steady. I knew for the, us to have a great chance of winning this game, they had to um, get about 45, 50 points. I thought they did their part, but we didn't get the stops when we needed them. But, um, you know, it is what it is. got to move forward. Um, got beat by a great team tonight and um, competed there for a while. But um, them are games we got to win. Playing in the first half, Shelby was kind of taking some more threes, and I'm accustomed to seeing her take. Was that yeah, part that, of the plan? Yeah, she shoots the ball really well in practice, and um, we're trying to get Wilson out of the paint. Um, a lot of what we do drives the ball in the paint. And uh, Wilson just hangs out in there. And if you don't force her out, um, you're not going to score in there. And um, I thought that um, Shelby could have been – it was really good for us in terms of stretching it. And, um, you know, she shoots the ball. I wished – if you'd have told me she was going to get those 11 looks, I thought she'd probably win eight for 11. But she goes three for 11. And um, what killed us in the first half, we gave up 12 offensive rebounds that resulted in 11 points. And you're down five at the half, six at the half, whatever it was. Um, but it was offense rebounds. Third quarter, we didn't give up offense rebounds. And it's, 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 that, that's where I got to go back on film to try to figure out what happened is because Wilson played the whole third quarter. Part of the second quarter she wasn't in there was giving up offense rebounds. So why don't we box her out and go hard and box her out, but why don't we box the backups out, you know, those type of things. And, um, but, you know, they, they're a really, really good team. They're really well coached. Um, they do a good job of getting the ball to where they want it. And um, it's why they picked to the, um, be in the Final Four again. Um, the athleticism there yeah. with a couple of girls. Do you feel like uh, y'all have the athleticism you need once the younger girls get past that mental hurdle of not playing scared? I think that, um, you know, I, t I tell people this. Coming into the season, our experience was in our guard spots. We had really three returning starters on the perimeter. And out of 120 minutes on the perimeter, I felt like those three could probably – you know, control anywhere from 95 to 100 of those 120 minutes. Now, now we're trying to figure out how we're going to get 30 more minutes. You know, Dreek gets injured. Now you're talking 50 and 60 minutes you're trying to figure out. That's hard. That's really, really hard. And, um, you know, we're, we're trying to figure that out. And you got young players. Now we went from being very experienced there on the perimeter to now extremely young at times in one position. Which in this level, when you're playing against South Carolina, you got to be experienced. Now you move to our post; they're all freshmen and sophomores. They're all freshmen and sophomores. Um, Promise Taylor, when she came to the huddle after she blocked Wilson's shot, that may be the highlight of her of her life so far. And um, I'm proud of her. She was smiling. She's like, "I blocked her shot." Yeah, she's watched Asia Wilson play forever. I'm like, "Promise, it's it. Don't be in awe. Just play." And um, you know, but it's. I think them young kids, they're going to get better. We play. It's a rough, rough road we got right here, guys. I mean, you, I think, Jake, you've wrote about it. I mean, we really, in our first six or seven games in league, four of those games are against teams that are ranked in the top eight in the nation. So, South Carolina beat us tonight. We felt very confident we could win the game. And we feel, we're upset right now. Our kids are upset in the locker room because we would made some mistakes in the fourth quarter and the third quarter to let them get away from us at the end of the half. I know Alyssa Austin's kicking herself what happened at the end of the half where she gets stripped and goes and they go and lay it up. We know there's some things that we can clean up there to be better. But at the end of the day, we're not the only team they beat. I mean, these jokers are really, really good. And so we can't let this discourage us and let it carry over into a Florida game on Sunday as we did last year at times where you beat, we beat Tennessee, then we um, got beat 
um, by state at state, got beat by South Carolina at South Carolina, and then you come home and have a letdown against Alabama because you put so much into those games. we got to mature ourselves into saying that we're going to put so much into the, the Florida game, as much into the Florida game as we do into a South Carolina game. Because everybody gets up to play South Carolina. They're going to get up to play Mississippi State. But we got to have that same intensity to get up and, and, and to go into our game plan and be aggressive in our game plan against a Florida, against a Alabama, against a Georgia, against Kentucky, or whoever it shall be. And so we're 0-2 in the league. Um, we let one get away at Arkansas. But, hey, look, we got a lot of opportunities. It's a long season. You've got to have a short-term memory. And, um, you know, we're 10-5 and five overall, and I feel very confident that we'll get through this, and we'll be all right. We're going to be all right. This is a young team that's, had, that's, that's playing with some injured players right now, and playing without some injured players, and it hurts us. And, but we can't cry about that. We've got to be ready to move forward, and people's got to step up, and we've got to make plays. Thank you, guys. I hope I gave you everything you wanted. You did? Yeah.